Bugly, simple, eh? And the outskirts of Marple Bridge. Be careful out right there. Whatever happened to the stray cats? Brian Setsu and his sexy quick. Come on, nip one, pelt one, choppy choppy. Mr. Barlow's the only one on holiday. You all right? You look dry. Is it morning sickness? Mm. I just feel a bit knocked. Um, I've got my scan tomorrow. Is it OK if I...? Yeah, take as much time as you need. <sighs> Thank you. I'll make it up. Don't be daft. Beth, what can I do you for? Uh, oh, I was just getting these. Because the scissors on your desk are the wrong colour. Is everything OK, babe? Of course. Mind your own, Auntie Beth. <sighs> what? She was just asking after Daniel. Cheeky mare, she's had a go on him. As big as a fat Labrador? Give me a large one. There's been actual sightings. One woman reckoned it once as big as a miniature pony. Kirky, enough with the big cats. Yeah, you could be onto something there, Bubble. It could be more than one. How many times Bubbles for the bedroom only? Sorry, Bubble. I mean, Beth. <laughs> Ty, it's me, the Kirkstop. That big cat's back in Manchester. Ka-ching, ka-ching, bell me. I love cats, me. Hello, oh, yeah? Mm. Big cats, small cats, feral cats, fat cats. You know, come to think of it, the only cat I've never worn to is cat dealing. Right. <gasps> <laughs> hey, um, I just want you to know that I sent Josh back in last night. So what do you want, a gold star? Yeah, was it Deck who swung it? Partly. And I realised that I need to do right by you, the innocent victim. No, um, Josh's sight could be permanently damaged. Oh, there is a God. You don't mean that. Don't tell me how I feel. Shona, just leave him, all right? He's gone. No, no, he still took him in. He still fed him. He still gave him brews. You know, had a little chat. Whoa, you've had Josh staying at yours? Just for a couple of nights. I gave him his marching orders last night. But you promised me. After all that at the hospital. Yeah, I know. What? When you knew he was visiting him at the hospital? I hated knowing Billy promised that he'd stop. You knew and you said nothing. Isn't this a bit old TT? No, it's common courtesy. All right, Grandad. What exactly am I apologising for? For bringing Cormac into their orbit. You know I don't talk like that. All right, so jockify it a bit. Just make sure that the word sorry is in there. A little bit rough there, Robert. Then get to bed. Very rock and roll. Cormac's dead. You what? what? How? What happened? Ryan and Ali found him dead round our place last night. Jokes. Um, I'm sorry for sounding callous, but um, I'm more concerned about Michelle and the lads. I'm sorry. I didn't think it would end like this. But you did know that you were too frightened of his dad to tell him to try the job centre. Does Ron annoy you? <laughs> Why, are you volunteering to tell him? No, I thought not. Let's be clear here, Adam. You lumbered us with Cormac. You brought this to our door. 